It is with heavy heart, and in some ways great joy, that brings me to making this announcement today. You all know I've been a fan of Solo for many years. So making this decision was really tough. Hi, I'm Peter, and I am the basic pilot. The time has finally come. I've been dreading this for quite a while. I, I told myself I have to be positive, but after much anguish and soul searching, I have we have decided to open source the Blue Thunder mod. I know this will catch some of you by surprise, and I'm sorry for that. What does it mean to our loyal customer base who already have it installed? Absolutely nothing. It will continue to work just as well as it has in the past. What does that mean for our community? It means that it will no longer be exclusive to Solo. It can be fitted to DJI, Unique, and the Plexi Drone if it ever ships. The Basic Pilot Labs are very proud of their achievement, and I'm glad that they asked me to show you how to use it. Let's begin by watching the original clip that started all this. After that, I'll describe the components and the installation slash technique involved. One of the biggest challenges to using a 3DR solo in place of a jib or a crane, and have your talent on camera the entire time, is the noise of the props. This makes it very hard to record production That's audio me. from your talent. Well, fret no more. I've created a new mod that will solve this issue. I've already installed it in my controller and, my, and solo. It just needs to be switched on. I've assigned the B button to toggle it on and off. I call it the Blue Thunder mod. All right, let's listen to the results in three, two, one. Now you can easily record production audio while having your drone hovering directly in front of you. How easy is that? The mod alters the pitch and speed of the props, making them almost invisible and completely silent. The Blue Thunder mod is available by special order only. Thanks for watching. I think that turned out pretty cool. So now I'm gonna show you how it's done. And here are the components. I used a Zoom H1 audio recorder, which I've now broken since the Blue Thunder shoot, but I replaced it with a Zoom H1N. Of course you can use any audio or video recorder as long as it can take an external microphone. I'm using a Rode SmartLav Plus mic in this video and it worked quite well. I also needed the TRRS to TRS adapter because the SmartLav has a TRRS plug and the recorder has a TRS input. I used an iPhone for recording the guide track the earbuds, which I used only one in my right ear, get connected to the iPhone. Or you can up your game by using a Bluetooth wireless receiver like this one. I had this one for another purpose, so I would suggest getting one flesh colored so it can't be seen. And now for the final component, the clothespin or C47. What does that do? It clips onto the back of my collar to hold the earbud cable tight so the wire can't be seen. That's it. Feel free to substitute any components with things you already have. Now that you know what the components are, here's how to use them. The first thing I did was write the script, print it out, and rehearse that a bunch of times. When I was comfortable with that, I grabbed my iPhone and recorded it into there as a guide track. Then I used an app called Audio Loop, which would constantly loop my guide track for me so I didn't have to be starting and stopping it constantly. Now it's time to head out to the field. This will not be a tutorial on how to use Premiere Pro. I'm just going to show you how I used it to create the Blue Thunder effect. I didn't save any of the elements to the original Blue Thunder video that you just watched, but I was able to find all the parts to a similar video called Blue Thunder Scammers. The same techniques are used in both videos. Okay, let's get started. On my timeline, I've imported the GoPro video and audio and the Zoom H1 recording. The first thing I need to do is synchronize the Zoom audio with the GoPro video. The GoPro audio is no help in this case. It was impossible to hear anything from the GoPro, so I'm going to use the Slate visually for the GoPro 
and orally for the Zoom audio recorder. You can also just clap your hands and that will work fine also. This allows me to synchronize the video from the GoPro and the audio from the Zoom H1 on Audio Track 4. So now if I listen to that channel, Ready, marker? Okay, that's out of, as you can see, it's out of sync. Uh, I'm not, I'm talking at the wrong time and the clap is at the wrong point. So all I gotta do is back up to where the clap happens. Right there. I'm gonna select the zoom audio and use alt and the right and left cursor keys to move the track one frame at a time. So I've got it roughly lined up with the, my indicator here. Let me see if I can get that a little tighter there. Yeah, that looks exactly lined up now. So if I were to play that. Ready, marker? As you can see, it's now in sync. Okay, I'm checking in my pocket. That's the Zoom H1 right here. So that's recording the Rode SmartLav Plus mic that I'm wearing. I just wanted to make sure it's been recording. This is the earbud that I was wearing. I'm only wearing the one side. There's a clothespin in back of back here that you can't see. And that's holding this tight. So this is connected to my iPhone, which is running the audio loop program. So I'm just going to turn the loop on. I'm going to start it. And now it's going to just repeat the guide track. So I don't have to keep going in my pocket and fixing it each time. So now it's just a matter of flying away. Now we'll start. I know a lot of you are posting videos from your solo that you claim have the Blue Thunder mod installed. Since the launch of Blue Thunder, we've only installed it into 10 solos, mostly due to price. There may be another reseller who's installing fake mods. Don't be scammed. There is only one Blue Thunder. How can you tell if you have the real deal? Easy, just hover your solo about five feet away and switch it on like this. Now you should have perfect audio with all the prop sounds gone. Don't be scammed. Buy the original Blue Thunder. Okay, so that's the original recording as I did it live. I was just listening to what I was hearing and said the words. Now I'm gonna land the solo. I'm guiding it into a perfect four-point landing. Oh, you I wish you could have seen it. I'm still recording the Rode SmartLav Plus lapel mic into the Zoom H1. I try to do it as close to landing as possible so there's not a major presence change. I know a lot of you are posting videos from your soul that you say have the Blue Thunder mod installed. There's a guy operating a chainsaw Since now in back of me, Thunder, but I don't care about this part. Mod into 10 solos, mostly due to price. There may be another reseller who's installing fake mods. Don't be scammed. There is only one Blue Thunder. How can you tell if you have the real deal? Easy. Just hover your solo about five feet away and switch it on like this. Now you should have perfect audio with all the prop sounds gone. Don't be scammed. Buy the original Blue Thunder. I inserted this section of audio where it says, don't be scammed on the second audio channel. Now I'm gonna turn this off and let you hear the original. There may be another reseller who's installing fake mods. Don't be scammed. There is only one Blue Thunder. How can you tell if you have the real deal? Easy, just hover your solo about five feet away and switch it on like this. Now you- Okay, now it's, we're still hearing- You should have perfect audio. The original recording. Now what I've done is I'm gonna show you this a little bit bigger. Up here is the original recording, so you can see where each word starts and stops. In this case, I'm going to turn off, actually, let me just cut this right here. And then turn that rest of it off. Okay, I've disabled that track with uh, uh, Shift E. This. So now you won't hear it anymore. 
and we'll turn on the second track. Now you should have perfect audio. All I did was try and line up these points here with the ones above it. So I take the peak or the, the middle of it and I wanted to make it match that one. And same here. Now if I listen to that while looking at it, it should line up with my video. Now you should have perfect audio with all the prop sounds gone. So that's the replaced audio. Now you should have perfect audio with all the prop sounds gone. Okay, so now all we have to do is do a crossfade after I say switch it on like this. Like this. Here is the crossfade, but it's a linear one. You'll hear the result in a moment. I'm not going to use it for this particular effect because it doesn't work as well as the one I'm going to show you next. Switch it on like this. Now you should have perfect audio. That didn't sound as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a logarithmic curve, which is transitions, crossfade. And let me get rid of this thing. And let me put exponential. which gives me a, a curve. So it's gonna start normal and then dip down very quickly, but hang on until the, the transition point, until the end point. So listen Switch to the on difference. Like this. Now you should have perfect audio with all the prop sounds gone. Don't be scammed by the original Blue Thunder. Everything I did in Premiere Pro can easily be done in most editing systems. I've even done this with LumaFusion on my iPhone. And that's pretty much all there's to it. And there you have it, the open source version of the Blue Thunder mod. Let's see what you guys can do with it. As always, thanks for watching. And if you see fit, subscribe. Hit like, comment, and ring the bell also. 